Oh, damn it. I just hit a rock really hard back there. I think it hit like the rear of the bike. The wheel hardly turns now. I've got to fix it here though. Got to get home tonight. I don't want to miss my tea. Right, so before we start, discs can get very hot, especially on long descents. So be aware of that. The edges of them are very sharp. I would advise keeping your gloves on. And when the wheel is spinning, try not to get your fingers close because you could lose them. It's really badly bent. So badly, in fact, that it actually pushes the pistons back in the caliper, which is dangerous because when I come to pull my rear brake, there's no brake there. And I have to do a couple of pulls on the brake to get the pistons to realign, as well as the fact that it's rubbing really bad and I'm not going to be able to pedal at home. So I need to fix it right here, right now, as best I can. So what I'm going to do is leave the wheel in the bike and use the caliper as my guide to find the bend. So simply by spinning the wheel, I can find where the bend is. So having found the bend in the rotor, I'm simply going to put my thumbs behind it. My disc has had an impact on the outside pushing it in towards the spokes and simply hold there, move to the top and then prise the disc over a little bit and then hopefully you'll find that, that straight out. Okay, so I'll just check it again. That small push with my thumbs has improved it slightly but I still need to perhaps use a little bit more force to get it straighter so it can get me home. So doing it this way, can be quite difficult to get enough force. That's the reason why I'm pulling on it like this as opposed to trying to prise it out with my thumbs. The main thing here is just trying to make it better so it's a little bit easier for me to ride. It's still rubbing a little bit. It's really difficult to get them perfect with your hands. I'll need to have a look at it when I get home using the correct tool. But to be honest, it's perfectly good enough to get me home and at least I'll have a bit of feel in my rear brake now which is safer. So that's it for how to fix a bent disc trail side. It's not ideal, but it's definitely good enough to get me home. <laughs> for more videos on GMBN, you should click up here for our trail side mechanicals. And if you wanna ride downhill like a pro, if you click down here, that'll get you through to that one. Right, now I'm off home. See you later. Don't forget to subscribe!